Alright. Alright. So I start the video and you just walk out. Sure, of yeah. Fucking faggot. Get out of here. That is the shittiest color. No, my hat's on backwards. <sighs> That's no. not even a hat. Brandon's not good. Yeah. Steelers hat? What's wrong with you? Mm. It's fucking warm. Danger, Putin. Fuck that. That's not a hat. That's a trash bag on your head. Mm-hmm. Still better than fucking Titans. Uh, no, sir. They're not. <sighs> How many times have y'all been to the Super Bowl? Six. Take that trash off your fucking head. Fuck you. Anyways, this Fortnite deal. <laughs> I don't like the game. I fucking hate that shit. I, I hate the game. I really do. I, never, I did play it. I never. Like, I played it one time because Christopher played it. Yeah, I was playing it like with my friends and stuff like that. But I, I never really cared for it. Like I never took it as serious as some of these people do. But I am honestly, if it has actually ended, I will be happy. But one thing that I don't know is like, is how they would just drop off. Like there's so many things I want to, I want to know. Cause like I, what I think is they're just going to do a new map just like Apex did. Yeah. But Apex didn't leave people hanging. They just did a new update and that was that. I don't know, I was... But apparently Epic Games dropped Fortnite as a game. Yeah. So either somebody's gonna buy it and then restart it or whatnot, but I mean, somebody will probably buy it. But, but I don't. I know for a fact they would not shut down a multi-billion-dollar game. It just they they wouldn't do that. That is, it's just how business works. They're probably just trying to make people think, start rumors or like that Epic Games for the drop Fortnite. I bet that's a rumor somebody started. They or, really did though. That's what I mean. Like they deleted all their shit off Twitter. Could be a prank. I, don't. I was reading one article that said it could be down till Tuesday. And think about all the people that play this shit to make money. Yeah, it still they either way they still have other games to play. Well, yeah, but and sp- like Fortnite wasn't even the first battle royale like everybody fucking thinks. It was H one Z one. It's a computer game. I have it. Nobody mm-hmm. plays it anymore, but it's still fun to play. I really miss that game. They used to have this game called H1Z1 Just Survive, and then they came out with a Battle Royale, and then it came out as a separate game, and then they deleted the uh, Just Survive. It was a zombie apocalypse game. Mm. But they, I, I seriously don't think they're going to just fucking end that Fortnite because so many people had so much like V-Bucks or whatever it's called and money into it. They're not going to... Like, so they're going to either have to send out a lot of money and refunds, or... They're going to. Sony freaking confirmed it that to their customers. But where are you reading this? I'll show you. Once we get the webcam and shit, we'll be able to do it on the computer and show everybody what we're talking about. Like, we'll be able to research something and have our webcam on there. You could do, I mean, with your computer, we did it last night. Yeah, I know, but not, we don't have a camera for it. And I need to find a way better placement for that, because that's really bothering me. That's different. I forget which one it was on. It was on. Probably that one. No, that's a video. Or... Go up. What did I just say? Hold on. It said season 11 will still come out. Um... There was one of these that said about Sony telling, yep. The Ask PlayStation Twitter account tweeted Sunday about the Fortnite blackout and that players' inventory of and V Bucks, Fortnite's in game currency, are still available. How are they available if you can't access the game? I don't know. If it, if they really did drop it like that, it wouldn't be available. 
Plus, you probably wouldn't even be able to open the game. It wouldn't even be on the app. So it's like, uh, that, what was that game called? Flappy Bird? Yeah. Like, it would just be off. Off the market completely. Yeah, you're right, because it's still on the App Store. And it's still on Xbox, PS4, P- uh, PC. They're not just going to end it, dude. I'm telling you, they're just going to make another map. This is just some sort of hoax, and they're waiting for people to start rumors like, oh, they dropped, they dropped it. Epic Games dropped Fortnite. I think they actually did, though, and somebody's just buying them in their middle of the transition. Like, somebody already bought it, and they're in the middle of transition. That could be true. But, unfortunately, I think Fortnite's going to stay a game. Yeah, because you're, I mean, you're right about it being too big of a game just to throw it away. It's a multi-billion dollar game. I don't know. That's what... I don't know, because I was reading a different article and it said about Sony saying the complete opposite. Like, they'd just be gone. Yeah. The would be gone. Everything would be gone. I, I don't think that's the case, though. I, I, I'm almost positive they're just going to act like, I am literally 100% positive they're going to just make another map. It don't make sense. It's a multi-billion dollar game. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so that's our take on the Fortnite session. Yeah? Yeah. We'll come at you more with some more podcasts, more drunk podcasts.